Hey everyone and welcome to What Did I Miss, where today I will be sharing with you 10 things I expect to see on Season 2 of Star Trek Picard. While it is true that we will probably have to wait until 2022 to see Patrick Stewart and the rest of the cast, there have been a lot of casting and story details dropped since even before the first season was over. Here I will condense them all into a list of 10 major characters or plot details that I expect to show up in the second season, which I do believe will be a swan song for Picard and will be the last hurrah for the character. The studio recently divulged that they plan to produce no more than 5 series at a time, and while there are five currently in production counting Picard, we know that the Michelle Yeoh-led Section 31 series is still planned to be developed for the network. This would mean that one of the current series would have to drop off, and while that could be one of the other ones, I think that it makes more sense to allow the character of Jean-Luc Picard to lead the franchise on his own terms. Of course, after the events of the first season, he is a different type of man. In the last episode, his body succumbed to the neurological disorder that was plaguing him, but in the end, his consciousness was revived in an advanced version of an android body. Now a self-proclaimed Gollum, which is a character based on a Hebrew fable about an animated lifeless statue, the second season of Star Trek Picard will no doubt continue some of the unanswered plot points that were left open after the end of the season. The events of the season also left open some big possibilities, and of course Picard's long and storied history allows for virtually anyone from Star Trek's past to pop in. And if this will be the last season for the character, I'm sure the writers and producers will go all out and make it a season that fans will cherish. Here I will go over my thoughts, but this is always more fun when I hear from you, so let me know in the comments what you want to see in the second season of Picard. Also, if you do enjoy the video, please hit that like button. If you'd like to help and support the channel, you can hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you, I really do appreciate all the support the channel receives. Now, on to my list of 10 things I expect to see in Season 2 of Star Trek Picard. The Romulan Culture a highlight for me of the first season was that Picard was really the first series to dive into Romulan culture and how the race became the one we see on screen. The showrunner of the first season, Michael Chabon, released a lot of details about his vision of the Romulan culture on his blog, and I will link it in the description because it was really very interesting, and I would love to see more of this on screen. We of course have seen a lot about Vulcan and even Klingon culture in the past, but Romulans have always been a mystery to the Federation and the fans, and while this is part of their allure, I think that the details that have been released do nothing but add credence to the behavior of this race of people. He discusses how the political system works, how their three-person marriages work, and even how housing is designed with false entrances and maze-like walkways. I may do a video just on this blog post because it is actually that interesting to me, but honestly, I hope to see more of it on screen next season. While Harry Treadway will not be reprising his Romulan character in the second season, I do believe that his sister may be returning after all, but maybe looking a bit different. A New Borg Queen Peyton List, as the villainous Romulan spy Nerissa, was one like the Star Trek universe has never seen before, and she did a lot of damage in the short time we got to see her. I really liked her character, and I thought that the actress did a great job bringing a new kind of Romulan to the screen. So much so that I became a fan of the actress and was very happy to hear that she also joined the cast of the Netflix series Cobra Kai, only to find out that there are actually two actresses that have the same name. But this Peyton List created a very compelling villain who was seemingly killed by 709 at the end of the season, but fans of the show should know better. I bring this up because the scene very much reminded me of the famous Sherlock Holmes story, The Final Problem, in which the villain of that story is thrown off a waterfall to his end, which may or may not have happened depending on which books you read. I think that this character's fate was left ambiguous for a reason, and I do think we will see her return. Given that she was thrown down into a Borg cube, I could see the ship restoring her to a cyborg form as perhaps their new queen. We have seen that members of the Romulan race are not very easily assimilated, and that the Borg may still be without a queen or leader after the events of the finale of Voyager. This would allow us strong-minded character like Nerissa to fill that power vacuum and restore herself as a foe in the second season. In fact, I think if this happens, she may be looking to restore a former member of the Borg to the Collective. Locutus of Borg Probably the most consequential story to happen to Picard while on the bridge of the Enterprise was his assimilation by the Borg into the character Locutus. During the two-part season finale Best of Both Worlds, Picard was taken in by the Borg, and this event is referenced by him for years to come as one that he never fully recovered from. Assuming that this is the last season for Picard, I think that it would be appropriate for his character to be given a chance to move past this event by facing it. I do believe that the Borg will be part of the second season, and if so, they will no doubt be coming after this new version of Picard, which they may see as a version of perfection. Since Picard is now completely completely synthetic, he may be even more a prized possession to the Borg and be that much more a target. It is also interesting to note that the show's new showrunner, Terry Metalis, produced a comic book series named Star Trek The Hive that dealt with Picard being reassimilated into the Collective along with another former Borg that showed up in the first season of Picard. Locutus is obviously a character that has haunted Picard for many years and seeing a resolution would be meaningful for the character and the fans. Speaking of XBs, The Return of Seven of Nine. 
One of the bright spots for me of the first season was the inclusion of Jerry Ryan as Seven of Nine throughout the Borg plotline and how her past trauma connected with Picard's. Somehow I never really put that together before the series and it really made for a compelling connection between the two. Seven obviously has changed greatly since we last saw her on the USS Voyager and Miss Ryan has even commented that she enjoys playing this version of the character more even if it takes her longer in the makeup chair now. The series also teased a relationship with her character in Rafi, played by Michelle Hurd, and the show's producers have said that that will be explored in the second season as well. Besides Seven and Rafi, expect all the main cast from the first season to return, with only Harry Treadway confirmed not to be returning. Also, in the aforementioned comic book series The Hive that was written by the new showrunner of Picard, Seven became the new Borg Queen and almost led to the destruction of the Federation. As I have laid out, I think that the Borg will be included in the second season of Picard and that Seven will no doubt be a big part of that plotline. The Return of Captain Will Riker Probably the other thing that I found most enjoyable in the first season was the inclusion of the Riker family and the return of Jonathan Frakes to the bridge of a starship in the final episode. Fans of Lower Decks know that he made a similar appearance there as well, albeit in animated form, but I would expect a live action return of Will Riker in this season. Especially if it is the last for Picard, I do not think there is a way the writers would leave Riker out knowing that he would want to know what has happened to his beloved captain and mentor. Given the fact that Marina Sirtis has moved away from Los Angeles, where the series films, it means that the other half of the Riker family, Deanna Troy, will probably not be showing up, which lessens the chance that we would see Will at home. Odds are that his return to Starfleet may have been for more than just one mission and that he will play a bigger role in the plot of the second season. Not to mention that he is confirmed to direct at least two episodes of the season, and that some other casting details have leaked that would seem to confirm him returning with at least one former other crewmate. The Return of Jordi LaForge Another popular character the fans are anxious to see again, LeVar Burton as Geordi LaForge should be appearing in the second season. I say should because the actor himself confirmed the news during an interview with the show Entertainment Tonight, so while an official cast list has not been released of guest stars, I think that we can say with confidence that Geordi will be returning. I'm sure that he will want to know about the events that occurred in the first season, especially since they centered around Data, who was seemingly his best friend on the series. LeVar Burton did reprise his role on Voyager and directed episodes of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and Enterprise, and has stayed active in the Star Trek fan community, so if this is the last season of Picard, I can see his involvement being almost mandatory. It is also believed that Jonathan Frakes may have further ruined the surprise of Jory's inclusion in the series after he tweeted a photo of himself, Burton, and the next entry on this list. The Return of Q Another beloved character and one forever tied to the character of Jean-Luc Picard, Q played by John Delancey is rumored to be involved in the second season of the show after he was featured in a photo with Frakes and Burton. Delancey, like Frakes, also reprised his role in animated form during Lower Deck's first season so there are plenty of dots to connect that lead him back to playing the omnipotent being in live form again. It will be interesting though how the show describes John Delancey's advancing in age, but the show could say that he was thrown out of the continuum long ago and has been living as a human for the past 25 years. Q appeared on every season of Star Trek The Next Generation, and he was the first alien character we saw Picard and crew have to face in the pilot episode Encounter at Farpoint, as well as appearing on episodes of Deep Space Nine and Voyager, so not including Q would be a big mistake that I doubt the producers will make. Besides Q's dealings with Picard and Data for that matter, there is another character from the Enterprise that he has a history with that has been confirmed to appear on the second season of Picard. The Return of Guinan an enigmatic guest starring character of the next generation that even appeared in one of the movies, Whoopi Goldberg as Guinan will be returning to the franchise in the second season of Picard. In a touching moment, Patrick Stewart appeared on the talk show The View, which Goldberg is now starring, and asked for her to return during the season. She accepted and the role was later confirmed through various sources. Guinan has always had a special relationship with Picard, and it will be intriguing to see what she thinks about this new version of him. Given her history with Q as well, it will be fascinating to see how she reacts to seeing him if they share a scene, especially if both are not as powerful as they used to be. Since Goldberg has also advanced in age, the series may also have to find a reason for that which could also include her losing some of her powers. Dr. Alton Indigo Soon while Data did die, again, in the last episode of the season, Brent Spiner has expressed interest to return as the character Alton Soon. He was responsible for the colony of synthetics on the planet, and Data referred to him as his brother when talking to Picard. The writers have said that they created the part so that Spiner could return after Data's demise, so it would make sense to include him once again. Spiner has now played six members of the Soon family counting Data, and who is to say that there are not a few others out there that we have not met yet? There is always a chance that Lore, his evil brother, could return as we last saw him deactivated in the two-part 
Next Generation episode, Descent. But I think I read that Spiner no longer cared much for the arduous makeup process to become the character, so unless Lore gets a more human face, I would guess that if we do see Mr. Spiner again, it will be as the latest member of the Soon family to be introduced, Alton. I'm sure that he will be involved in the Federation's communications with this new planet, which could include another piece of Star Trek history missing from the first season of Picard. The USS Enterprise E while it was cool to see Picard put together a ragtag crew of Federation washouts and homicidal killers, I missed seeing the USS Enterprise, which we last saw being refit after the events of Star Trek Nemesis. The adventures of the ship were continued in the Star Trek Online game, but since that game takes place before this series, the ship's status could be whatever they wish it to be. Seeing Riker show up to defend Picard in a fleet of advanced vessels was impressive, but not as impressive as it would have been to see the Enterprise fly by and stand between Picard and Oblivion. The ship could still be in service too, as it was said to be the most advanced in the fleet upon its launch prior to first contact, and the refit should have made the ship even more advanced. If they really want to make the fans happy, they will create a plot similar to one of the movies from the original series era in which the old crew has to borrow the ship which is now a derelict. It may be a bit contrived, but as a fan I can't help but want to see Picard in the big chair one more time. Well those are my thoughts on the second season of Picard, but you let me know, what did I miss? Let me know in the comments how excited you are for the second season, and which character or story you would like to see return. Please hit that like button for me if you did enjoy this video, and if you are not subscribed you can hit that subscribe button too and help support the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and watching it and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?